Okay, everybody. I decided to paint more of a, a night scene just so that you can see how to paint the clouds a little bit more clear with a black background and some white clouds. These are all of my brushes here. Don't worry about all of that though. Usually during the sessions, I let you know what brushes to use and we usually don't have that many. So <laughs> don't worry about that. But I actually just have two colors I'm using, white and black. And I've created a very crooked, messed up moon. And here's my background. I tell people do not worry about things being straight, things being perfectly round. We don't worry about stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to fix that as we paint. Right now, I'm wetting my brush, drying the brush, just to get prepared. Well, first let's do a step because I want a few stars. So I'm going to take some clean water, put it on my brush, let it drip into one of these paint holders. And then I put white paint in here. It made it very milky. So what I'm gonna do now, let me wipe all the excess off. Don't wanna make a mess. I'm just going to flick this white paint on here like so. And I'm just flicking. I want a few stars. I'm gonna clean my brush. Now, the next thing we're going to do is paint our moon. Actually, let me put this piece here so my paper doesn't move. I'm just going to paint my moon. Again, we don't go for perfection. We paint for appreciation self-appreciation not for perfection my moon is going to be a little a little crooked and it's okay just going to paint that in we'll come back and add more I don't know why my video cut off but we're gonna start painting our clouds. So I have my smallest brush. I'm putting white paint on it. And I'm just gonna start making a few circles and a few humps. So they're little circles, but they become humps after a while. And see how my moon is kind of crooked right here? I'm gonna work with that with my clouds. So we start off with a little circle, a circle beside it. And after a while, you can kind of start scrubbing the circles in. I want a pretty big cloud, so. That's my first cloud, my first set. And during the sessions, I do a lot of walking around and Consulting with people. I don't like to see people stuck on a step. So when in need, always ask for assistance. Because it's no fun when you're stuck and everybody else is painting and you're trying to figure out how does she do that cloud. 
So sometimes I do hand over hand assistance so that you can feel the pressure or lack of pressure as we're painting. But as you can see, the steps for my clouds are little circles that become gigantic clouds over time. One circle becomes many. And I always make sure my circles or my clouds are flat at the bottom. I'm gonna do one here. and be my last one. Here's a trick that I teach people when it comes to painting clouds. So we've got some triangles. You're like, what is she gonna do with that? I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start by going around this cloud here. You fill it in and look at that. It becomes a cloud. So this, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very quick tutorial. Of course, I would be much, much slower with you all. I would definitely want you to see how to do this. But this is pretty much something that we would probably just paint. This here from one of our sessions. I will show you step by step how to do it. You can see my uneven moon didn't turn out so bad. I think what I will do is take a little bit of black, put some black in my moon. Just enough to make the form of craters. And then you would just choose some areas to paint over. And you get more white paint. And before you know it, you got a moon that's doing a little extra. <laughs> I'll see y'all soon.